Good morning, Highbury friends. It's Thursday the 16th of April. My name's Lorraine. For those of you that don't know me, I'm part of the pastoral care team at Highbury. And it's my pleasure to join you today. Uh, we're all filling in for Jason, who's taken a well-earned break on Minster. Many of you will know that I also work for the chaplaincy team at the hospital. And before we go out around the wards to be alongside people, we have a little time of prayer and to focus together to give us the courage to, to do that work. And we use Bible notes that Jeff Lucas has written. We had the pleasure of um, listening to Jeff Lucas at Spring Harvest some years ago, and his preaching and teaching had a profound impact on me. So it's, it's a joy to share those Bible notes at the hospital and also at home. And I'd like to share with you now his reflection for today. It's entitled, Blessings Don't Eliminate Stress. Bearing in mind, this was written before he knew the situation we find ourselves in today. As a new Christian, desperate to know God's will and purpose for my life, I had an idealistic picture of what life would look like if I followed God wholeheartedly and placed him and his purposes first. Doors would open, opportunities would abound, stress would be minimal and I would live in a zone of blessings where trouble was scarce. It has not turned out that way at all. I've discovered even in the areas of my life where I'm sure I'm walking in his will because he's been kind enough to make it so clear, there are still stresses strains and frustrations. Even a casual reading of the Gospels makes it clear. If you want a trouble-free life, don't be a follower of Jesus, as those disciples of his quickly discovered. And the prayer on that reflection says this, When stresses and strains come, help me not to be discouraged, Father, but to lean harder on you for help. Amen. And now I'd like to share with you a psalm, which is a great um, favourite of mine, Psalm 121, which gives us the confidence and reassurance of our Father's protection and strength always. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your comings and goings, both now and forever. Amen. And now shall we pray, share in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. It's been so lovely to speak to you all today. I miss you so much. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.